Hey everyone, it's John Pempathy here, and in today's video, I wanna talk about the forgotten art of Facebook ads. Actually get results and make money for your business, right? Like, it seems that most people have either forgotten about this style of ad, or they're getting it completely wrong, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it effectively in today's video. Let's get into it. So over the past couple of years or the past few years, there's been a lot more talk about video ads, the importance of video, how video is taking over, and even myself, right, on my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, I'm always talking about how video is so important and such an effective way of promoting yourselves, especially when you're doing ads on Facebook with a video or YouTube ads, and obviously you're using video on YouTube. But it almost seems that everyone's talking about video so much to where there's one type of ad that's not getting much attention and, and, and where it is getting attention, it's being done completely incorrectly and, and, and ineffectively, right? And that's written copy, okay? Written copy is still here to stay and it still does very well. Like it doesn't matter how much video is taking over, there are still people who would prefer to read a piece of content rather than watch a video, right? It also allows people to skim to a certain section. If you look at one of these ads that I've got here, and I'm gonna talk you through some of these examples, I've got this written ad here, and so the benefit you know, of this is that someone could skim read this. You can't really skim watch a video, right? Yes, you can put it on double speed, triple speed, but like you can't just skip to two thirds in and just have a, you know, so like there are advantages to written copy that you can't get with video, and it seems that people are not utilizing written copy anymore, and, 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 and the ones that are are doing it wrong. So let me share with you first, how people are doing it wrong with an image and a bit of uh, copy. And then I'll share with you the right way to do it. You know, I just found a couple of examples here on Google that I screenshotted. You know, there's this ad from O2, that's a, a phone provider here in, in the UK. And literally this is their ad. It's an image, the headline says free SIM, and then the copy says order a free SIM from O2 today and get 10 pounds spent. Like that's the lamest ad I've ever seen. That's not gonna excite anyone. It doesn't emotionally move anyone. It's just not gonna be effective. But big, big companies like O2, they don't care. They've got marketing departments that are actually hammered with targets to spend money. So in some cases they're spending money on ads that they just don't even really care if it works or not. They've just got a marketing budget that they've got to spend, right? But we've got to do things differently. We don't, we don't, we don't have that luxury, okay? We're smaller business owners, so we've got to be smart with our money, right? Here's another one from Udemy. This is actually you know, another big company, but I just saw this ad and I thought, this isn't a very good ad. Start learning today, that's the biggest thing my eye is drawn to. If I'm scrolling my newsfeed and I see that, that's not gonna make me stop, is it? Start learning today. Learning what? I didn't care, well, gone. The attention on the news, the news feed right now is 1.8 seconds. So if you don't grab their attention straight away, you're gonna lose them, right? The image isn't even big enough to take up the full space and there's a tiny bit of copy. So I don't really like that ad either. You know, and then I saw this one as well. This is Barclays, Barclays Bank here in the UK. You know, same thing as O2, right? You know, lame image, lame text, you get the idea. These ads aren't working, we have gotta do things differently. Here's how we make written copy work, okay? I like to actually have, in some cases, long form written text. Okay, I'm talking about like, I mean, you can see here, this is something like, you know, 2000 words, maybe at least 1500 words. And then I've got an image and then I've got a nice headline. And I wanna kind of talk you through some formulas here. And I think this will really help you out because if you're looking at this and thinking, surely an ad that long, right? Let's zoom out and show you. Surely an ad that long is not gonna work on Facebook. Okay, surely if someone has never heard of me from Adam, you know, they're not gonna stop and they're not gonna read all of that. Well. They actually will, and this is one of our best performing ads right now, and this whole writ long form written copy does still work exceptionally well if you get a few key elements right. I'm gonna talk you through what they are, okay? First thing that's gonna grab someone's attention in the news feed, okay? And by the way, what I'm, what I'm about to teach you will work in any industry, selling any product, it really doesn't matter. It's a style of ad, right? So it doesn't matter what you're pointing them to, it's a style of ad, and it will work for any business promoting anything, right? The image, really important. That's what's grabbing someone's attention, right? So they're scrolling their newsfeed, you want something that's gonna, gonna stand out to them, something interesting, something that arouses curiosity, you know? Something that grabs their attention. This one here, I've used, you know, me with getting my award with a guy called Russell Brunson, this is for doing a million dollars. A lot of people in my industry will recognize what that is, right? And so I've got that ad that grabs that attention. Like, what's that golden shiny thing? Why are these two guys holding that? Who's this goofy looking dude with the glasses, right? So I've grabbed their attention in the beginning. Then they're gonna read the headline, right? The headline is the secondary thing that your eyes go to. So 
what I've learned after 57 failed Facebook ads, okay? What I'm doing here is I'm kind of like drawing their attention to the fact that actually we're not necessarily talking about the positives here. We're actually talking about something that didn't work. People always love, they're so inquisitive to, to learn more about kind of what went wrong. We, we're, we, we love that kind of thing, right? And so doing something that's counterintuitive to what everyone else is doing, rather than just sh shouting about the good stuff, we talk about the not so good stuff. So this arouses curiosity. 57 failed Facebook ads. I want to I wanna learn you know, what, what he did there. Then the next bit is the first line, okay? The first line and, and, and maybe the second line down to here. Everything before the user has to click see more, okay? And then it drops down. All of this copy could be exceptional, all right? But if you... Um, you know, have only got, uh, if you've got a crappy intro, then no one's ever going to click see more and continue reading, all right? So image, headline, first couple of, first couple of sentences. And so you want, you want the first couple of sentences to be talking about a big benefit, a big result that you've got, or something that would draw them in, and they've heard a benefit that they would like, and it leads into your story, right? So for, you know, here, I've put, let me just zoom in a bit so you can see it. When I look back on the success of my Facebook ads over the past few years, I have to literally pinch myself. It doesn't feel real. To see the businesses that I've been able to build, the many thousands of customers I've had an impact on and the multiple seven figures in revenue as a result, it blows my mind. I'm kind of, I'm writing this from a kind of, I'm overwhelmed by the success of what we've done kind of way of writing as opposed to the arrogant kind of, hey, look at me, look how cool I am. This way of writing does resonate with people, but the results that I'm mentioning, you know, if someone was in the same space as me wanting to grow their business with Facebook ads, hearing an intro like that is super engaging and super like, it arouses that curiosity, right? And then you wanna go into a story. With all of my written copy, and I've got a few more examples to show you, with all of my written copy, I always wanna tell a story. I wanna take them on a journey, all right? So I'm gonna grab their attention beginning and then I'm gonna go through where things weren't so good, right? Where life wasn't so good. I've already grabbed their attention with the big benefit. Now I'm gonna, I've built my authority. Now I'm gonna talk about how things weren't so good to resonate with them. And then we transition into, uh, you know, then the bigger benefits again. And we've taken them on this journey. I mean, you can read this if you want. I'll, I'll leave a link to this. Jake, remind me, please. Let's put a link to this ad in the description box of this video, right? So you can have a, have a, have a read of this yourself and, and kind of, you know, get a feel for the flow. Um, but this ad works really well. Take them on a journey, you know, and, and then lead them down. So that's the first type of written ad, okay? Just having an image, you know, a crappy headline and, and no copy, like the examples I gave you earlier, that's no good. Written copy is this forgotten art, which is so effective, but you have to put some time and attention and some thought into it, right? Then I've got another example, which is slightly shorter, okay? You don't have to have the super long ads. There's another one, okay? The picture is me, doing a selfie with a bunch of my students here at a workshop in, in London, okay? And so that's grabbing their attention. They're like, okay, who the heck's this goofy looking dude again? Why are all these people wearing his matching t-shirt and put their hands in the air, right? So it grabs their attention. Headline is, they paid $1,000 to learn my webinar model. You can learn for free. It's just like, oh, wow. So these people, they grabbed my attention, but now I, I know that they spent $1,000 with this goofy dude, right? So I'm gonna, and then, so I kind of want to hear, you know, what, what's going on here. And then again, I'm kind of reiterating that point at the beginning. I'm kind of playing on this. I'm, I'm not, I'm trying not to write in such a way that kind of puts me on a pedestal, right? It makes me sound like this arrogant dude. You have to write in, in a certain way that makes you seem kind of like, you're almost kind of like, you've got to be willing to have a joke about yourself. You can joke about yourself, but you're still saying an authoritative statement. Your authority will be built, but also there'll be, there'll be a relational feeling being built because you're, you're just a normal dude, right? So that's why I've put here, why, let's zoom in a bit more. Why in the world would these 57 people pay this goofy looking 27 year old $1,000 to learn about webinar sales funnels? So I'm kind of like, I'm taking the mick out of myself here a little bit, right? Bringing me down to their level, but at the same time I built my authority because they already know that at least I've done $57,000 because I had 57 people pay me a thousand bucks. They're like, oh wow, okay, like who is this dude, right? So then I introduced myself. Well, hi, my name's John Bendy. I'm that goofy dude and blah, blah, blah. And, then I, and then I tell the story the story of how these people came to learn this webinar training from me for a thousand bucks. And essentially, I can give them some of this training for free, all right? So nice little bit of copy, okay? And, um, and th this ad's working really well for us as well, you know? And then you've got some slightly shorter copy too. So I'm gonna show you this one. Like this one, that, like that's all the copy there, all right? So still relatively long if you're thinking that you usually don't put any text in the description box. 
But again, nice image there, okay? And, uh, you know, a, 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 an authoritative shot of me on stage, right? Nice blue up lighting. It kind of, it's, it's an attention grabbing image. 50% off my full webinar, you know, course expiring soon. And so what I like to do with this one is this is a retargeting ad, right? I'm going back out to people now who have seen uh, some of my other ads or seen my webinars or seen my courses and, and they didn't take action, right? So you can see that like, even with retargeting ads, I'm putting effort and time into the copy and I'm still weaving in a story, okay? Just because you're retargeting someone or remarketing to someone doesn't mean you can get lazy with your copywriting. Whoops. And just have a tiny bit of text that just says, 50% off my course, come here and buy it now. Right? Or obviously you might not say it quite like that, but you get the idea. You still don't have the luxury of just skimping out on the copy, okay? Even a retargeting ad, I'm gonna go ahead and take some time and, and, and craft a story. So here's the copy. Oh snap, I'm finally offering 50% off my flagship webinar training course. Offering discounts is just not something I usually do. In the past eight years, I've only ever discounted one of my programs. Some people respect that decision and some people call me crazy. Some people like that I hold the value and I, I, I tell a story. Every ad, even if it's a tiny bit of copy, you want to tell a story. The story here is that I never offer discounts and they have seen this ad right when I have one going on, right? So it's another you know, example. And then here's an even shorter one, okay? And uh, this is like probably the shortest I go. Yeah, we've probably got some ads that are slightly shorter, but again, nice attention grabbing image, you know? So you know, me in the PP Islands in Thailand, it's just a nice image, thought it'd be a cool one to grab their attention. But here's something funny to, to learn from this is that I always want to try if I've got an image that I'm using just because I think it's a cool attention grabbing image, I want there to be, I want it to be some kind of explanation as to why I've used that image. So I did that down here. I said, uh, where is it? I, I made some proper dad joke, right? I said, and if you jump in before the offer expires, I'm also throwing in a boatload of bonuses as well. See what I did there, right? Proper dad joke, I know, okay, don't put hate in the comments, but like this worked too, super well, okay? This ad's doing really good. And so, tiny bit of copy, you know, still not skimping out, right? This is the final day that they've got to, to take, take me up on this, uh, on this discount, and I'm still putting some time and effort into the copy here, all right? So, to recap this, like, so many people are either cutting corners with written copy and image ads and just not putting any time and energy into it, or some people are neglecting it altogether and just using video. Now, video is great, don't get me wrong. You're gonna go onto my YouTube channel or my Facebook page, you're gonna hear me talking about how great video ads are. So don't get me wrong, don't hear what I'm not saying. Video is still fantastic, but written copy is awesome as well. And it's like, it seems like the forgotten art that people are forgetting. So go back over this video, pick up on the lessons that I gave you here, go and implement this. I think you'll get some great results. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, do me a favor, hit the like button. Also leave me a comment. I love reading through those. And also hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because I'm constantly putting out new videos on the channel here uh, on, on YouTube a couple of weeks. So come back and check those out. Make sure you're notified about those. And if you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, right, how you can get good results from your Facebook ads. I've got a full detailed online training. It's absolutely free and you can go through it. I think you'll really like it. I'll leave a link in the description box and also in the first comment so you can go through and register for that training. I think you'll get a ton of value from it. And with that, appreciate you watching this video. Hope it was helpful and I'll see you in a future one.